Hi, to all youngsters of classes 11 and 12, particularly to the young boys and girls of class 11. Why? Because today what I'm going to tell you, I'm going to make you understand, is a poem in class 11, the poem The Spider and the Fly by Mary Howitt. Now all of you have studied and passed your ICSE, but the way you handle, answer, the way the teacher teaches poems in class 11 and 12, the way the student answers questions concerning poetry in class 11 and 12 is a little different. We do it line by line, word for word. Everything is done in the same way as in your previous class. But when you are answering a poem, you answer as a long answer and as partly objective and partly subjective. Now today's poem is The Spider and the Fly by Mary Howitt. Now if you see the text in front of you, that is your ISC Reverie, the Poetry Anthology, you will find the full name is Mary Botham Howitt. But I'm not going to go through all the details about the writer. You know, you read, but we come to the main section, that is the poem proper. So if we just gloss over and scroll the main section, we come to this section, which tells you about the poem, The Spider and the Fly. It first appeared in how it's, just see, the spider, how it's collection, sketches of natural history. A series of poems written to educate children about the realities of the natural world. And then it is written, it is a cautionary tale, cautionary. It is making us aware. It is warning us. Cautionary, the meaning of the word cautionary is warning. It is giving you a warning about something else also. It is a cautionary tale about the manner in which the innocent and gullible. Now if you see these two words, innocent and gullible. This are the two adjectives which can be and which is projecting towards the little fly innocent and gullible fly and then talking about the wily and shrewd predators wily the meaning of the word wily is cunning dhurt as we say in hindi in bengali we say dhurto dhurt wily cunning and shrewd shrewd also means cunning predator what or who is a predator? Someone who comes very secretly, like a lion is a predator. Someone who comes very silently, very quietly and jumps on his victim. There are people like the fly, innocent and gullible. And there are people like the spider, wily and shrewd. Wily, cunning, shrewd, very, very cunning, predator. They'll wait for you to come and you are unaware and they'll jump on you. And that's the end. The poem reads like a fantasy or fable. This word, fable. What is a fable? A poem or a story that teaches us a moral lesson. Kuch sikhata hai. It tells us something. It makes us understand and we learn something from it. So this poem is in the form of a fable. As the spider and the fly, just see this, as the spider and the fly both behave like human beings. As the spider and the fly both behave like human beings. We have people like the spider. We have people like the fly. Ultimately, these two insects, the spider and the fly, 
act as metaphors. What is a metaphor? It stands for something. The spider and the fly stand for or take the place of human beings on earth for metaphors on certain types of people who exist here, on certain types of people who exist in society. There are these certain types of people who exist in society ultimately. So the spider and the fly, they are metaphors. They are standing for or they are representing certain types of people who exist in the society. Now we start the poem, The Spider and the Fly. I've written the word fable here and I've written metaphor. This poem is in the form of a fable. A fable gives us a moral lesson. It tells us something. It teaches us something. Kuch sikhata hai. And the spider and the fly, they act as metaphors. They represent certain types of people in our society. People who are cunning, people who are innocent. People who are shrewd, people who do not understand anything at all. Such type of people we do find in our society. Now when children read it, they read it as the spider and the fly. They like the way the poem has been written, etc, etc. But when you read it, you will have to read it in the form of a fable. And you read it in the form of a fable. Where you understand that I have to be careful. It's a warning. That there are certain people like the spider and there are certain people like the fly. If you are like the fly, you have to be careful about certain people like the spider. And if you are like the spider then you must understand that sooner or later, the fly will understand your intention. The first answer. Will you walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy. The way into my parlor is up the winding stair, and I have many pretty things to show when you are up there. Oh, no, 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 said the little fly to ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stair can never come down again. The first stanza. Here there is an invitation from the spider. The spider is inviting the invite. It's an invite. Will you come into my parlor? Now in houses we don't have a parlor. But otherwise in schools we have parlors. It's a waiting room. It is a room where you come and you wait. In a house you say the drawing room is like a parlor. Where you tell people to come in and sit on the sofa, on the couch and we can talk. So here the spider is approaching the fly and saying, will you come into my parlor? And then see the way the spider is tempting Lalach, tempting the fly. It is the prettiest little parlor, tempting the fly in such a way. It is the prettiest little parlor that you ever did spy. What is the meaning of the word spy? Spy means, the word spy means see. You haven't seen such a pretty parlor. I mean, you're telling someone something. You've seen that girl. You have no idea. You've seen the girl. She's very pretty. Automatically, your interest is aroused. Pretty girl. You've seen this film. My God, it is just too good. It's a thriller. Yes, it's a thriller. The mystery is just... Awesome. So your interest arouses. Come into my parlor. And remember, the spider is telling the fly. The fly is innocent. The fly will automatically be interested. It's a parlor. Yes, it's a pretty little parlor. Come into my pretty parlor. You never did see such a pretty parlor. 
And then the spider goes on to say, you way to my parlor is up the winding stair, winding. It's not straight. It goes zigzag way, winding stairs. And then tempting the fly all the more. I have many pretty things to show you when you are there. So come into my pretty parlor. I have many things to show when you go there. It's a pretty parlor. You come, you go up the winding stairs. Now going up the winding stair, there's a mystery. Every house you have a staircase which goes up straight. But when you have a winding stair, means dal mein kuch kala hai. It's certainly not very easy. But come, the fly does not immediately fall into the trap of the spider. The fly says, oh no, no, said the little fly, to ask me to come into your parlor is in vain. In vain means it is not useful at all. You say, useless. It's just in vain, uselessly. So the fly is not tempted immediately. It says, no, 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 no. When you say, no, 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 you are repeating to emphasize. Say, come, come, no, come, 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 come. When you go on repeating the same word, you understand the urgency of that thing. No, 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 no. To ask me to come to your parlor is in vain. In vain means it is useless. Because the fly knows for who goes up the winding stairs, the fly knows. Whoever goes up the winding stair can never come down again. Those who go up the winding stairs never come. So the fly is aware of what the spider does. I have seen many going up the stair, but I have never seen them coming down, the same people coming down. So he knows whoever goes up the winding stairs can never come down again. So the invitation, the first invitation of the spider to the fly to come into the parlor, pretty parlor, showing you pretty things, that invitation is useless because the fly does not fall into the spider's trap. The fly does not fall into the spider's trap. The fly cannot be tempted. But do you think the spider will leave the fly so easily? The spider is cunning. The spider is shrewd. He will not leave the fly so easily. And he will not give up so easily. So, the spider tries the second time. He says, I am sure you must be weary. I'm highlighting a few words and then says, dear, just see slowly how the spider is turning the tables. You must be weary, dear, with soaring so high. I'll give you the meanings in a while. Will you rest upon my little bed, my little bed, said the spider to the fly. Again, the temptations. There are pretty curtains drawn around the sheets are fine and thin. So the temptation does not end. There are pretty. And while you like to rest in the bed, you would like to rest for a while. So while you like to rest for a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. The fly again says, oh no, no, for I've often heard they never, never wake up. They never, never come down who go up your winding stairs. And here, they never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed.
ये कॉल्स इतने सारे कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटरी मैसेजेस जो आए हैं सो ऑब्वियसली ओवरऑल मैं तो बस अपना करते गया एंड एग्जाम दे दिया तो आगे ये रात भर का सपना मैंने ऐसे नहीं देखा था पर हां ये जरूर का जो भी दे रहा है अपना बेस्ट दे रहा है मैं कभी सोच के नहीं रखा था कि रैंक टू आएगा मेरा मेरा मानना ये है कि सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है कि आप अपना बेस्ट वर्जन बनो ये प्रॉपर बैलेंस और प्रॉपर शेड्यूल दैट इज द मोटो spider tells the fly you must be very weary the meaning of the word weary is tired you must be very weary and then the word dear when you say dear to someone you make the person close to you you try to bring the person closer to you so you must be very tired my dear soaring up soaring means flying high that is the meaning of soaring flying high so you must be very tired because you are flying so high soaring flying that is the meaning of soaring flying high so being tired you must have a bed to rest on so rest upon my little bed little bed said the spider to the fly again the second round of temptation comes he says there are pretty curtains so pretty things i have to show you here there are pretty curtains and the sheets are fine and thin now we know something called the spider's web the spider weaves a web w e b you have these jalis the spider's web the spider's web if you've seen it they're very thin and very fine so he is actually referring to his web his trap where he will trap the fly but actually referring to that but trying to show that there are pretty curtains around the bed the sheets that you will draw upon you they are very fine and thin you can rest a while i'll snugly the meaning of the word snugly means with a lot of comfort i will snugly tuck you in put the sheet on your body very comfortably snugly comfortably with comfort tuck you in but the fly again doesn't fall into the trap again says no 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 said the little fly i've often heard it said they never never again they never never no no never never all this is done for emphasis they never never wake again who sleep upon your bed they do not come down the stairs who go up the winding stairs and i've heard those who sleep on your bed they never never wake again so the second time also the fly does not fall into the trap of the spider yes the spider will not give up the spider will trap the fly so the spider tries the third time here the third time the spider continues saying said the cunning spider cunning spider to the fly dear friend first earlier in the earlier stanza it was dear now he addresses the fly as a friend dear friend what can i do to prove the warm affection i have always felt for you 
I have within my pantry good store for all. That's nice. You're very welcome. Will you please take a slice? Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what is in your pantry and I do not wish to see. First time, second time, third time. The third time also the spider cannot trap the fly. The spider is cunning but the fly is not foolish. The fly is just innocent. So when the spider says, dear friend, as a friend now, the spider approaches the fly. Dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection? I have to prove my friendship to you. I have a lot of love for you. Affection is love. I have a lot of love for you. How can I prove that love for you? I've always felt that love for you. So the first time was come into my parlor, my pretty parlor. I have many pretty things. Second time, my bed. Very comfortably, I'll, uh, I'll tuck you in. There are pretty curtains around my bed. Very, very comfortable thin sheets to draw upon you. This time, it is a pantry. What is a pantry? A pantry is the place where you store all the food that you cook or you have. So you have the pantry. I have within my pantry some very good things. Good store for all. That's nice. Come. You are welcome. And then if you come, I'll give you a slice, maybe a slice of cheese or some, a cake. So I'll give you a slice. The fly even now does not fall into the temptation. Says, oh no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, since... The spider had dressed the fly as dear friend. The fly says, kind sir, you're kind. You've invited me into your parlor. You've told me, you've welcomed me and told me I can take a slice. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what is in your pantry and I do not wish to see. I know there are many good things in your pantry, but I do not have any intention of seeing what is in your pantry. First, second, third. The third time also, the fly does not fall into the trap of the spider. The spider will have to change its way. The spider will have to change its tactics. The spider is shrewd. The spider is cunning, wily. So the spider's tactics, no more this kind of temptation. Come into my parlor, sleep on my bed, come into my pantry. These kind of tactics will not work. The spider understands. Because the spider, as I told you, is shrewd. So now the spider says, sweet creature, dear friend, becomes sweet creature. Here from here starts what we say, flattery. Flattery means false praise. We know that the person is flattering us, but who doesn't like being praised? So here the spider knows I can trap the fly if I flatter the fly. The young girls out there, if someone says, you look very beautiful, what a beautiful dress you're wearing, how smart you look, how intelligent you are. Maybe most of the time people are saying it truly, but many a time they are flattering us. In spite of knowing it is flattery, we love being flattered by because we like compliments, praise upon ourselves. So here starts the flattery. Just see, sweet creature said the flyder. You are witty. We love being told we are witty, we are wise, we are intelligent, we are brilliant, we are excellent. We love being told this. Who doesn't like being flattered? Who 
Who doesn't like being praised? Forget about flattery. Who doesn't like being praised? If you say, I don't like being praised, I don't know, something is wrong with you. So here starts the flattery of the spider. Sweet creature. You're so sweet. We like it, isn't it? You are witty. You are wise. The word witty and wise. First witty and then wise. Okay, then let's go to the next line. How handsome your gauzy wings. You look handsome. All boys like to be told that he looks handsome. How handsome your gauzy wings. How brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. A looking glass, a mirror upon my parlor shelf. If you step in one moment, come to my parlor. See yourself in the mirror, dear. You shall behold yourself. This time the fly does not say, oh no, no, no. This time the fly says, I thank you gentle sir for what you are pleased to say and bidding you good morning, I'll call another day. Just see a little shift. It's not no, no, no. It is good morning. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll call you another day. Means again we will meet. So with the promise that the fly is going to meet the spider. Why? Because the fly has been praised by the spider. The spider has called the fly sweet creature, witty, humorous. You have a lot of intelligence. That is wit. Where you can make people laugh, where you can make people understand that you are intelligent, you are wise, experienced, how handsome, you are good looking, your gauzy wings, gauzy, transparent, your wings look so transparent and they are so beautiful to look at, so the wings are transparent and look at your eyes, they look so brilliant, how brilliant are your eyes, how brilliant are your eyes, you look brilliant, your eyes are brilliant, who doesn't like being praised in this way? Now you want to see how handsome you are? You want to see how brilliant your eyes are? Come into my parlor and there you will see a looking glass. What is a looking glass? A looking glass is simply a aina, mirror. Aina as we say, a mirror. I have a mirror in my parlor. See on my parlor shelf. See the mirror, behold yourself. The meaning of the word behold is see. See yourself. And you will understand that whatever I am saying is not false. You are handsome. You are beautiful. And of course you will see, you are witty and wise also. Just see, the fly changes her ways. She thanks Gentle sir, from kind sir, now it becomes gentle sir, for what you are pleased to say. I thank you gentle sir for what you are pleased to say. And bidding you good morning, I wish you good morning, I'll call another day. Does not say oh no, no, no. I'll see you another day. So the promise is made, I'll see you another day, which means the spider is given one more chance of trying to trap the fly, because the fly has promised that the fly will come one more day. So what if the first three attempts have been a failure? The fourth attempt is a step towards winning for the spider and making the fly fall into his trap. How? The spider has flattered the fly. Flattered, praised the beauty of the fly. And everyone likes to be praised. You're beautiful, you're handsome, you're good looking. See yourself in the mirror and we all like to see ourselves in the mirror. We like to see how we look, how we dress, everyone. So 
People like the fly, never mind if they are innocent. But they would like to see themselves in the mirror also. And the fly promises the spider that I'll call another day. Well, dear students, if you like our studying way, if you like our study, then this free demo content we have put on YouTube for you. So that you can see how much dedication we have word by word of the study material ko cover karte hain isse fayda kya hota ki aapko in depth analysis hota hai ratna nahi padta hai so this is very important hindi mein hum padhate hain so that you know aaram se knowledge ud ke bhage nahi you know pade rahe aapke paas and revision jo hai quick revision we will give you notes and we might also give you a revision lecture which would be in english so that uh, the balance is maintained and we are coming up with new plans new subscription model hum start kar rahe hain 1st january 2022 se aur hame ye realization hai ki online classes par aapka bharosa thoda sa kam rehta hai so isliye hum first month ka subscription ek nominal 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 fee mein karenge start hum aapko kuch welcome gift denge so that aapka wo first month ka subscription bahut hi nominal ho jaye so that in one month's time you can get to know about how good we are or in case agar hum acche nahi hai so first month ka jo subscription aapne diya hai wo bhi within 7 days aap wapas claim kar sakte ho no questions asked the whole idea is ki online classes par jo baki log agar fraud kar rahe hain to ho sakta hai aap ghabra gaye ho theek hai kuch स्टूडेंट्स हमारे गूगल में रिव्यूज देखते हैं तो गूगल में रिव्यूज तो डुप्लीकेट रिव्यूज भी डलवाया जा सकता है तो कुछ लोगों को डर लगता है कि इतना अच्छा रिव्यूज पक्का ये फ्रॉड होगा तो देखो सोचने में कुछ नहीं जाता है तो इसीलिए हम नहीं चाहते हैं कि किसी और का बैड एक्सपीरियंस के वजह से मेरा और आपका मिलना अधूरा रह जाए सो दिल खोल प्यार से विश्वास के साथ ज्वाइन बी एस सी ए क्लासेस डाउनलोड आवर बाला ऐप वॉच आवर फ्री वीडियोज फील द कॉन्फिडेंस कॉल अस एट नाइन एट थ्री जीरो वन सेवन फाइव जीरो फाइव जीरो एंड एंजॉय द होल एटीट्यूड इज यू शुड एंजॉय विदाउट एनी वरी कोई टेंशन वाली बात नहीं है मैं हूं आपके साथ हर कदम में मैं आपके साथ हूं वीडियो लेक्चर से घर पे अपने पेस पे अपने स्टाइल पे अपने हिसाब से पढ़िए और ऑन अ डे टू डे बेसिस यू कैन गेट इन टच विथ मी ऑन अ डे टू डे बेसिस एटलीस्ट फाइव डेज अ वीक सैटरडे संडे छोड़कर मैं आपके साथ हूँ आप हमारे साथ टच में रहिए ऐसा नहीं कि वीडियो लेक्चर्स बेच दिए और सर गायब हो गए एवरी डे यू विल बी इन टच विथ मी एवरी डे वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस में आप आइए कोई डाउट हो तो डाउट क्लियर करिए नहीं हो तो भी बस बताइए कि यस सर थिंग्स आर ओके बी इन टच विथ मी उससे आपका मोराल एंड कॉन्फिडेंस हाई रहेगा सो सोच क्या रहे हो ज्यादा मत सोचो सरेंडर टू मी आफ्टर यू हैव डन ऑल योर ड्यू डिलीजेंस और अगर आपको लगे कि कुछ कमी है तो प्लीज बताइए अगर आप चाहते हो कि सर ऐसा फीचर और होता तो हमें और फायदा होता जरूर बताइए हम तो काम कर रहे हैं आपके लिए वी वॉन्ट टू बी द बेस्ट वी एस्पायर टू बी द बेस्ट एंड रिजल्ट जो है वो बयान करेगी रिजल्ट हमको और आपको मिलकर लाना है और रिजल्ट लाने के लिए मेहनत हमें और आपको मिलकर करना पड़ेगा सो so हमें अगर आप बताते रहो कि सर यहां ये कमी रह गई आपके तरफ से हमें बड़ी खुशी होगी हमारे अंदर जो कमी ढूंढ के बताएगा हम उन्हें रिवॉर्ड करेंगे हम नाराज नहीं होंगे बल्कि आई प्रॉमिस अगर कुछ एक्सलेंट आइडिया अगर आप हमें देते हो तो यू विल बी रिवॉर्डेड सो थैंक यू सो मच आई लव यू टाटा बाय